All right, guys, so I wasn't going to do a read um, today because I did one last night with you guys, but um, I'm being drawn to do one uh, for some reason. I've been in my head like all day. I've just been stuck in my head and I can't figure out why I'm being stuck in my head. Um, as you saw on my TikTok, um, I posted about our, um, I don't know if I even posted it. I wanted to post a video about how our thoughts become, can become our illusions, like illusions for us. If we overthink things or think could be's, would be's, if this, if that. All right. Um, that's the energy I was feeling today. Someone you guys may be overthinking things like looking too much into it um not realistic things maybe um you know you're you're getting too deep in your thoughts guys so you got to come out of that energy so the stones that i picked for you guys today are amethyst okay amethyst um helps open your uh, intuition it also resolves anger and fear which I feel that uh, you and your person are both feeling at this moment. You're both mirroring um, each other. And um, also Blue Agate. Okay. This um, uh, Blue Agate, I'm sorry, I wrote it down, helps with uh, calming and um, giving you uh, peace of mind. So I feel that you and your person both need that. Um, the dynamic here, it feels like... It feels like you're both missing each other. And then also angry at the situation. You may be angry of how they treated you. They may be angry that they treated you wrong. Um, that's just what I'm getting off the bat i also um, heard this song today and it really uh hit me like okay that's that's uh something um it's a n t h it's a rap song like a rap rock song and it's called can we please be back so i i feel like the lyrics in that it may resonate with you guys um uh the person you know this guy singing in the song um really feels where he did wrong and how he's um getting his karma for the way that he treated his person so i feel like this person is um this could be you or the person okay take what resonates leave the rest this is a general love read guys so um yeah just take it or leave it um but uh and anything if, if i say you it could be them okay if i say them it could be you so just take it however you want to take it um but i feel like this person definitely wants to come and back and apologize to you guys and they could be really in their heads like feeling like really really bad for how they treated you like i'm just getting like this this energy they really feel bad like, I was in my thoughts all day, all day today. I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> I have nothing going on, you know, except my health stuff. I'm like, let me, let me see. Let me see for you guys. So, let's see. Yeah, they're, they're thinking about uh, which way to go with you. 
they're in their heads. They know that there was a death to uh, your relationship with them. You know, maybe they're, they're worried about the ending, like it being completely ended. I feel like this person and emotional. Hold on. That death card hit me good. And I'm getting like, my throat chakra is going nuts. I hate when I get into the energy too much. Um, so this person... Uh, um, yeah, they're thinking about the ending. They're thinking about how they, um, treated you. And they, uh, they are wanting to come in passionately. So you are on their minds and they do look at you passionately. Wow. Whew. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're in their thoughts. They're in their head. Let me just, uh, <laughs> get out of... Let me take a sip. Hold on. Okay. So this person um, is in their head. Okay. They're rethinking um, the past, how um, things went down with you guys. They're thinking about how to come back towards you. They're thinking about the ending. If this is like the last strike, like... It's the last time you cut this person off. They're thinking about that. They have a lot of things on their mind, this person. Like, too much. Too many things. Okay, let's see what else. What else can you tell us about this connection? Yeah, just saw uh, the happy uh, drinking card. Oh, there it goes again. There it goes again. Was it Seven of Cups? Or was it? Hold on. Wow, I saw it. Huh? Wait, there you go. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Sorry. Yeah. I saw that twice. Um, the Nine of Cups. So this person does want to come back and like celebrate with you. And, you know, they're thinking about the good times that you guys had. But they're feeling stagnant. They're feeling they're in hermit mode. They're isolating. They're just waiting for that little light that maybe that little light that you could re spark, that they could re spark in the connection with you. But they're be feeling bound um, to their situation right now. Um, feeling bound, feeling stagnant, feeling that they, they can't reverse this ending. Yeah, feeling like they can't reverse the ending. Maybe um, they're looking at it as like a missed opportunity with you. Because they've been in hermit mode so long and they haven't come to you with this apology. So now they're, they're all fucked up in the head. All fucked up. Sorry, I'm cursing. That's really what's, what's going on with this right here. What else can you tell us about this connection here? Uh, yeah, they're off in the distance and they're sitting on their throne um, watching you and seeing that you're doing really well for yourself, that you, you're, uh, you're valued and um, they want to come towards you. They have passion for you. They're looking at you like, hmm, I can't believe he or she is doing good, like without me. Like, oh, they're really doing good, you know? So they're looking at you in a high light, but maybe this person thought you were just going to like crumble without them, which, you know, that's not the case. Yeah, you know, kings and queens don't crumble, okay, when people leave them. Mm -mm. You may crumble for a little bit, but you, you don't stay down very long, right? No, because you know your power, you know your value. Okay, so <laughs> they're in their head about whether or not you are going to reject them when they come in. They're worried about all of these swords and past things being brought up when they come to you. Okay. What else can you tell 
let's make this connection. Right. Yeah, they want to have good times. They want back in your good graces. Like that other one. I don't know. I guess the, the majority of you guys on uh, TikTok and YouTube, your person, it seems like your person is coming back. It seems like the same person. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, coming in uh, hot and heavy and wanting to fight and not fight in a bad way, but wanting to, uh, you know, like cheers with you. Let's like make amends. Let's let's work it out type of thing. They want to work it out. So whatever they did in the past, um, they're regretful that they that they did it. And they they've seen this person's seen their karma because of it. They've been dealing with it. They've been trying to heal. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So again, again with the two of cups. So this person in two minds, in two minds, in their thoughts, feeling that they're blinded. They're not seeing the whole picture right now. They're not seeing it. And that's why they're staying isolated in their hermit mode, okay? Because they haven't come to a definitive conclusion about your connection. They might not be understanding your connection. Um, this is my telepathy card. You might be having telepathy with this person and they don't get it. They don't understand it. Things may be crossing their mind. Um, your name may be popping up to them or like numbers or, uh, you know, if you have friends, you know, together, they're bringing up the, bringing you up their, their friends are bringing you up to their, to them, or their, I don't know, I don't know, it feels like you guys, you guys know that this person is coming back, like you feel them, you definitely feel them, my stomach's going nuts, um, and they might be, they're confused by it, if they're not like spiritual, if they're not a spiritual person, um, they're confused by this telepathy, but if they are a spiritual person, they, they know that uh, you want to pour right back into them, but they're second-guessing themselves because this ending and, and being stagnant for so long, you might be waiting for this person a long time to come around. <sighs> connection here what else do the viewers need to hear for the higher good yeah they know that you've been really patient with them you know they look at you like really beautiful they see you as like a sexy really sexy goddess like being okay um they may feel like you're um you know maybe a little uh well, maybe you are spiritual or like very, I don't know, I'm getting like angel-like. I don't usually get that from this card. I usually get that from the high priestess, but they're looking at you in like a really good light and they know that you've been patient with them. You know, they know. So that song, the A-M-T-H song, Can We Please Be Back Together, that did have a third party in it, okay? Um, if you do have a third party going on with this person. So, yeah. So they, there's, they want, like, they see you as, as, like, wish fulfillment. Like, you fill all their cups. Like, your personality... Your, your body, the sexiness about you, um, your smarts, you may be good with money. Um, they like your stability. I feel like they like your stability. But they're afraid of rejection. I'm not sure why they're afraid of rejection. 
probably because they they treated you badly or they fucked something up with you guys. But, yeah, they wanted to come in for that Ten of Cups. Definitely wanting to come in for that Ten of Cups. Because look, they, they're the, King, the Knight of Cups, the um, Knight of Swords, they're all rushing in to that Ten of Cups and for that celebration for drinks, okay? So that's a lot of good stuff there. I don't know if you want this person back, but you know, they're, wanting, they're wanting to come in and possibly give you what you deserve this time around. That's the way it looks. Like they see you now. This person might not have seen you in the past. Yeah. Maybe a lot of drama. They uh, might have made this connection um, more dramatic than it needed to be because they weren't seeing that you actually had something really good together. Maybe this person didn't know you well enough. Didn't give you a chance. This person might have just been coming in passionately at first as a page, right? Like a playboy, maybe. Just for child play. Just to, you know, get that wand nice and hard, right? But then this person fell for you and they started getting uh, emotions for you and then they felt like they were being hung upside down <laughs> scared the shit out of them the connection okay and that's why they might have put an end to the connection between you guys because they weren't mature enough to see um, what you guys had What else can you tell us about this connection? What else does the viewers need to hear for their higher good? I was so drawn to do this read. I hope it helped me get out of my head now that I <laughs> I gave the message. Yeah, They're waiting for their, their fortune to come in, and that's you. They're waiting to see you again. All right, they're waiting to see what's going to be going on. They're patiently awaiting. Um, making a move towards you, okay, just this person may not feel um, to do it right at this moment, but uh, they have that on their, their radar to do that, oh, it's hot in here, I just got really hot, I don't know if you guys are getting excited that this person's coming back, um, okay, so, yeah, there's the Leo card again. The Sun card. So, again, this person wants... Yeah, definitely. I definitely see this person coming back for you guys. They're in their head. They're afraid that you're going to reject them because you're your wish, for, your wish uh, fulfillment, right? They see it like a future with you and growth. And they want happy times. They want to shine. They want you in their presence again. Wow, that's nice. So they look it looks like they're coming back pretty um truthful. Um I feel they're coming back as uh not kings but knights and uh willing to um work, you know, willing to work and, and grow on the connection. They're wanting to celebrate with you, come rushing in passionately with their thoughts so this person is going to be telling you um what's been on their mind and possibly why they ended the connection <clears throat> why they ended the connection with you and um, this person is going to be giving you some clarity and understanding and uh giving you an offer okay all right it's good stuff guys good stuff that's not for everybody it's um, take it how it resonates, right? 
and it's going to be a pretty good offer but always you know if somebody has um hurt you in the past always keep that eye for the deception and the sneaky the sly fox down here okay make sure their actions go with their words when they do come in with this offer for you okay if you want to take it you got free will you don't have to take the offer if you don't want this person okay and always 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 continue to work on yourself while waiting for someone else you could love someone else but make sure that you're not putting yourself in the ground and in your thoughts like i said at the beginning i feel that you guys are um like seriously like in your thoughts like wanting like yearning for this person to come back towards you you have to get yourself out of that mindset you don't need anybody um to complete you okay and complete your happiness you don't need it you don't need to do all of this you don't need to um think in your head when are they coming back um are they going to apologize are they going to treat me right this time stop just stop stop thinking of that and um start thinking of how you can elevate okay and you could be the sun and you can shine and and bring in your happiness okay because once you bring in that happiness these um these people will come in for you okay Always focus on yourself. Make yourself priority. Don't put this person first priority in your head and in your thoughts. All right. Let's do some sexy time. Do we want sexy time or do we want animal spirits? Eh, we'll do sexy time. Do a little bit of sexy time. I'm not feeling too sexy tonight, but hey, it's for you guys, not me. Even though sexy time usually puts me in a really good mood. <laughs> and it actually... <laughs> I'll tell you a story. <laughs> actually, uh, one of the reads I did... Shit. I had to claim it for myself. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It's nice. So, yeah. You and this person are very spiritual people very um spiritually guided and uh protected both of you they may be on the shadow side of it though okay um they may have a little bit more shadows that they have to deal with but they want to like really like mm, bend you over real nice but innocently okay and you just want to sit there and admire their package okay maybe your imagining licking on a little bit Whew. guys what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> what are you guys doing to me see look <laughs> just give me some sexy time and you get that <laughs> that heat out of me i'm terrible i can't imagine once once i start going through my uh, midlife crisis oh boy watch out <laughs> So this person may want to take you out to a dinner or a meal, like sit down and have a meal with you, okay? They want to have a meal with you. You take you out on a date. What else? Hmm. Yeah, they want to show up like a knight in shining armor, right? They want to, they want to show you that um, they're better now that they healed uh, some of their wounds okay they want to come up like a you know person that you deserve okay what else can you tell us about this connection yeah they might want to go to like uh i want to go to like a nudie beach or uh do the do the dirty in, in nature with you on the sand. What else can you tell us about this connection? Okay. Yeah, this person um, may want to admire your little titties. If you have little titties, they want to admire them. They like them. They think they're perky. <laughs> 
and they also um i don't feel like this person wants you to give your um your goods to anybody else uh, besides them they want um, they want you for them okay because they feel this um very spiritual um divine connection with you okay all right, let's do um, this up here, and we're going to get out of here. Okay. Listen, if you're doing sexual things with people, please stay protected. Protect yourself. There's a lot of uh, STDs and AIDS and stuff. You don't want to You don't want to do all that, okay? Protect yourself if you're being sexually active, especially with multiple people. Protect yourself. Or if they're, um, if this is a third party and they're being sexually active with someone else, protect yourself. And you don't need no babies. If you don't want babies. Right? Okay. So you may want to connect with your ancestors. Okay, there may be um, a person that has passed away that um, is trying to give you messages, but you're not listening. I feel that you're sleeping on it. You're sleeping on it. This person is trying to wake you up and make you see um, that this connection might be divinely guided. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you have to put the focus back on yourself. Maybe you haven't um, done your hair lately or your nails or shaved your beard, whatever it is. You have to, or, you know, do something that uh, makes you feel good. Feed into yourself. Elevate yourself. Okay. What else can you tell us about this connection? All right. Meditation. Meditation is so good. You know... A lot of people um, don't believe in meditation, but you know, monks and Buddha and, you know, all these, uh, you know, spiritual beings um, are, you know, peaceful beings meditate, right? So maybe open your mind up a little bit about meditation if you are closed-minded about it and try it out. Why not? What can it hurt? If you're having a hard time um, releasing this person or you're being stuck in your head, why not try it? It's worth a shot, you know? Be open-minded to new things. You know, maybe maybe you guys are, have some um, limited beliefs that you need, need to work on a little bit, you know? Maybe you're stuck in the old way of thinking, the way that we're programmed from childhood. Uh, sometimes we have to break away from that. I know I have. I've broken totally away from how I was brought up. Okay. You grow and you learn and you, you become your, your own person. Anything else? Oh. Yeah. So you may want to look for fairies. Or maybe, um, you know, you're in tune with seeing spirits. Okay. They're trying to send you messages, synchronicities, numbers, um, possibly um, songs. Um, yeah. Uh, they're trying to give you messages to prepare you for this person to come back. Okay, connect with your crystals. If you have crystals, um, lay, lay them down and pray or meditate over them. Maybe go for a massage. Is your back hurting you? Maybe your back's bothering you. Go for that massage that you've been wanting to go for. Okay? Take advantage of the opportunity to take care of yourself. Maybe your, your neck's also bothering you. Okay? So check into those things if you, you're having those two issues. Okay? And heal them. All right, guys. That was fun. And, um... I hope you enjoyed the read. I hope it gave you clarity. If you would like a personal read, go over to Venmo. Um, 
make a payment of 35 friend re request me so we could talk to each other uh, so we could comment back and forth and um, Venmo is Jesse Ray 21 and um, yeah just add your questions there birth sign um, and a profile picture you need a profile picture so I know who I'm connecting with so I can get a real good read on you and don't be vague with your questions I'm not a mind reader. I read energy. Don't be vague. Tell me tell me a little bit about what you want to uh, get answered so I could really zone in and help you out because that's what I'm trying to do for you guys. I want you guys to elevate and I want you to be happy. So um, for me to do the best job I can do, you got to give me um, that energy. Okay. Uh, have a great day. Bye.